Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing kind of like a what I eat in a day slash just a combination of some vlog footage that I've accumulated filled with a bunch of like easy healthy recipes. If you haven't already please subscribe and follow my Instagram. I also mentioned this in my previous video but I just wanted to mention it again just because I always get so many questions on my jewelry but I'm wearing these necklaces from Ana Luisa jewelry and then also my Earrings are from there as well. I also just got this amazing, like, Singyet. Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll list it on the screen. But I've been wanting one of these for so long, and I'm just obsessed with their jewelry. So I will go ahead and link all of that in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out. They're a New York-based jewelry company, so I just absolutely love their stuff and love shouting out and supporting some New York jewelry. Why not? Yeah, with that said, enjoy some healthy inspo. Good morning everyone. It is 5.35. I'm currently at Core Power Yoga. I am teaching a 6 a.m. class and I just got to the studio and I'm gonna vlog. So what's up? Hey guys. So I'm currently in a Starbucks. Um, in between my two yoga school classes today. So I'm just sitting down at a Starbucks across the street and I'm gonna work on some YouTube videos and then I wanted to show you what I packed as a snack. So, yes. so I packed an apple, some prepackaged nuts from Trader Joe's. I think it's the Omega pack. I got a mint tea from Starbucks and then just a hard boiled egg and then I also packed some salt and pepper. And then I'm just working on a video right now. I'm gonna go back to class. Good morning. I started my day on my way home from yoga. I went to Trader Joe's and I went grocery shopping. Um, so I'll just quickly go show you what I got in case you're curious. Um, yeah, sure, just one sure. So first off, right now I'm just making myself a glass of apple cider vinegar, water, and lemon, and then I'm having a black coffee per usual. But I went to Trader Joe's on my way home. I thought I would just do a quick little haul. Tip that I have when grocery shopping is to plan what you buy around meals that you know you're going to eat so you don't end up wasting food. I know that I had extra siete almond flour tortilla chips that I need to eat up. So I, and I've been wanting to try this fall harvest salsa, so I went ahead and got that. So I got the butternut squash pizza crust, but then just make sure you get everything to actually make the pizza so it just doesn't sit in your fridge. So I'm excited to try this. I don't usually get these like fun items, but I thought I would. And I got these pre-cooked hard-boiled eggs because they were the exact same price as the cage-free um, just regular six pack of eggs. So these ones are just already cooked and it's so easy. They're only like $2.69 for six eggs and I eat these like all the time now. Some regular eggs which I can have for breakfast and just in my salads and stuff I like soft boiled eggs. I got some blueberries, organic three grain tempeh. Tempeh to me just tastes so much better than tofu. I got some peanut butter. I got a tomato specifically for the pizza that I'm gonna make. Buying my groceries around my meal. When I used to eat meat more often in grocery shop I would buy tuna so I thought I'd make like a little tuna avocado salad on Gigi's but yeah that's my Trader Joe's haul. I just need to like sit for a second okay. Anyways I have a friend who's in town. I'm gonna go get lunch with her and I'm gonna film a few videos before I leave. What else do we got cooking? I have to teach a Again tonight I teach sculpt at 7:45, so that's on the agenda. How are you guys doing? I don't really know what else to say. I'm Jay chilling, checking my email, probably make my bed, but I'm probably not going to. So you can't even freaking tell, but I'm halfway through my makeup and realized I wanted to meal prep this pizza because I want to do a blog post on it. So when I was at Trader Joe's, um, as you guys saw, I think I filmed that. I suck at vlogging so we all know this this is butternut squash pizza and it's just butternut squash corn flour water corn starch potato starch olive oil salt that's pretty freaking good ingredients i can read all of them serving size is one sixth of the crust which is hilarious because obviously everyone just eats the whole pizza or at least half right preheat oven my oven doesn't actually have like temperatures you just turn it on you guys see that flame okay that means it's on you don't get to pick the temperature so we're gonna guess about 415. Okay, so, okay. And then add the toppings. Okay. I, do I even have a baking sheet? I don't know. Okay. 
Wishing I still had you. What's up? I'm back. I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna go meet my friend. She's staying in Midtown, so I'm gonna take the subway or not. I thought I would just show you what I'm wearing. My actual outfit is just this black long sleeve and then these black flare pants, which are from Forever 21. Got some Nikes on because I need new shoes, which we feel like we've talked about. I'm so pale, oh jeez. I think I have my morning voice on for all of you. I also taught three yoga classes yesterday, so I kind of lost my voice. I just woke up, my acne is absurd. We have the drink lineup going. It's celery juice, which I've been starting to do. I have apple cider vinegar and water, and then black coffee. And that is how I start every single day. I try to drink the celery juice first. You're supposed to drink it on an empty stomach and then follow up with these two. This gets you really hydrated and wakes your body up for the morning. It also really helps with intermittent fasting if that's something that you guys have been doing. Especially the water and apple cider vinegar, it really like holds your appetite over. So that's what we got going on for our first meal of the day. Um, all the liquids. Okay, so I'm going to head out for the day. I'm actually going to a noon yoga class and I'm going to go on like a fasted stomach. I actually like can't work out if I've eaten something. I feel super sick the entire time. But yeah, I'll do a quick outfit of the day. I have to stop and run some errands on my way there. Um, but I'm just wearing an all black like sporty outfit, some Lulu pants, and then I have this neon beanie on. I have my yoga bag and yeah. And then I think I'm just gonna pop into Whole Foods and grab like a bar and kombucha after my class because there's one right outside Core Power. Saturday night, no berries at the relax. Swishes make my throat hurt. Rolling up CPs in the side for me. Got them up and let them go. I think I just got hypothermia. It's so cold outside. I walked from Tribeca all the way back to my apartment. Um, but this is my lunch. I honestly, this is my first time going to the Whole Foods bar since moving to New York. But I was really craving just some veggies and felt lazy. You could totally just make these yourself but i have broccoli some sweet potato some squash and then there was roasted pineapple for some reason that sounded good to me and then i just made a little bit of like a dip with some avocado like a little aioli type situation just because i'm such a condiment person and then i'm also gonna have a hard boiled egg for some protein okay guys so after my lunch i'm just craving something like warm and sweet i'm gonna make a little turmeric latte i've made this before on my channel but not in a while so in here i just have some unsweetened almond milk honey um, a little black pepper just to activate our turmeric and then i'll also use some organic ground ginger um some saline cinnamon and then some vanilla and then I'm also going to put in some collagen peptides because we have this handheld milk frother. It'll make the latte nice and foamy and then the collagen actually just helps making it a little bit foamier even so. And it adds protein and is good for your skin and I just like to have a scoop of this somewhere throughout my day. So that's the game plan but I'll show you guys the finished product. I'm also going to pop this banana in the freezer for dessert later. I'm also going to take this ginger shot, 100% cold pressed ginger. So I'm going to take this and I don't do these that often, um, but I do actually really like them. So I'm excited to try this one out. Okay, so I'm going to be making a um, tuna salad. I just cut up half of a honey crisp apple, half of an avocado, some white tuna in water. Mm, dairy free yogurt garlic salt and pepper and i'm going to mix that up and then i'm going to put it on some kale which i just massaged and cut up with this um caesar avocado oil dressing and then with the rest of the apple i just am having some peanut butter and this 
um, paleo grain-free granola. And then I'm also gonna use probably some of this gluten-free crisp bread and just um, have it with my salad. So I'll show you the finished product in just a minute. All right, guys, this is my finished dinner. So I have the tuna salad all mixed together and it looks so good. I'll list all the details in the description too. So here's where the frozen bananas come in. For dessert, I'm having banana and ice cream, which is just frozen banana, a little bit of almond milk so it will blend. Um, and then I put cinnamon and vanilla. In my microwave, I just heated up some coconut oil, peanut butter, honey, and cacao for like a healthy hot fudge. And this is to die for and doesn't taste healthy at all. So... So this way I'm going to wrap up my night. The best part about this that I wanted to show you guys is that the coconut oil actually makes it harden. So kind of like this magic shell effect. And you guys, I'm not even kidding. This tastes like freaking bomb. You have to try it. Okay guys, so yes, I that is, um, I forgot to film an outro. That's the finished video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just some basic stuff. Give this video a like if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye.